What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying out some new products that I picked up at the store. For Valentine's Day, one of Ethan's gifts for me was a $100 Sephora gift card. I wanted to get as many products because I knew I was going to be doing a testing out new products video as I possibly could. And I ended up getting five products, so I'm super excited to try these out today. The main products I was looking for was skincare, and I was able to find one skincare item that really intrigued me, so I'm super excited about trying that today. I also got a foundation and an eyebrow product that I've never tried before. Also the foundation I've never tried before. I'm really trying to find a full coverage foundation that doesn't make my skin oily throughout the day. So we are gonna do a few updates on how the foundation works um, after putting it on. It's currently 3 p.m. right now. So I'll probably have my makeup on for about six hours. So we'll see how that goes. I also got two lipsticks from Sephora that were $3.50. I have never seen anything on sale or clearance at Sephora before, and they had a whole little sale section with amazing prices. Um, that's why I decided to get these two lipsticks, and they're actually Sephora lipsticks, so I got two different colors. So we're gonna try that out today. Also in this video, we're gonna be trying out that Olay toner that I told you guys about in my skincare routine video because I haven't tried it out yet, so I wanted to try a bunch of new products and make a video out of it for you. So hopefully these products work out for me, but enough rambling, let's get started with the video. Okay, so this product I'm most excited about I picked this up at Sephora. I love the brand Fresh. All of their products are very unique to their brand. Um, and I have never heard or seen this product before. So I'm super excited to try it. It's the Fresh Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. It comes in this adorable tube with these adorable little strawberries on it. I took a shower before I did this video and I didn't wash my face. So I haven't even smelled this yet. I wanted to save all of that for this video today. So let me do my first impressions on the scent and then I'll start applying it. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Oh, pfft. gotta take this off. This is impossible to do with nails right now. I should have looked at it before. All right, guys, let's see what the product looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm, it doesn't really have a strong scent. Hmm, I'm not really smelling any strawberry. Um, so that's kind of disappointing because I wanted it to smell like strawberries. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more on my hand. And it's an exfoliating wash. Um, I haven't exfoliated this week. It says it gently refines and softens. So I'm super excited to see how my face feels after putting it on. Oh, it's a little, um, what do you call it? Sticky. It kind of has like a perfumey scent, but not, not strawberry. Not strawberry at all. Kind of like a just a light skincare scent. It definitely has a scent. Um, ooh, it's feeling kind of tingly right now. I'm just gonna work it in a little bit more. A Little bit tingly, I'm getting a little warmth from it. Okay, so now I'm gonna wash it off and see how my face feels after that. I feel like I'm kind of overthinking it right now because I'm really trying to feel how my face is feeling, if that makes any sense. Usually I just wash my face and not really trying to think about it, um, about how my face actually feels. But um, yeah, I guess I feel refreshed. Um, how I'm gonna do this video and how I'll do any review videos um, or trying out new product videos from this point on is I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts at the end of the video after my makeup's done and my hair is done. Um, and yeah, so finished um, washing my face, 
like I said, it feels maybe just a tiny bit sticky. Um, but I mean, yeah, my face isn't oily anymore, so that's good. Um, so let me tell you guys a little bit about what we're doing today. So it's 60 degrees in Virginia, and why I'm in the hottest winter sweater is a question that is very reasonable to ask, but I'll tell you why. So today we have to move our camper to a different spot in the same campground because unfortunately we're in a day spot. So Ethan's coworker is gonna move our camper for us today. So I'm currently in the process of getting everything ready, but I really wanted to film this YouTube video today because I'm super excited about trying these products. Like you have no idea. I'm trying to find a new HIT foundation and a new HIT eyebrow product. So hopefully these work out for me. Um, but the reason I put on this sweater and a tank top under it is because when we're moving the camper, I'm gonna have to stand outside for at least 30 minutes to an hour while they're setting it back up. Um, so I didn't want to be cold and the sun will be setting soon. So I just thought might as well put on a warmer sweater and I don't have to have a jacket on, but it is 60 degrees here. Um, Virginia slash Southern state weather is crazy. Um, it really just depends on the day. Sometimes it's 20 degrees one day and it stays like that all day. And sometimes it drops to like 10 degrees at nighttime and then it's 60 degrees during the day. Um, but let's continue on with the video. So the next product that I'll be trying is the Olay toner that I told you guys about. It does look like nail polish remover, but let's just give it a try, y'all. I'm literally sweating in the sweater right now because I still have stuff to do, and I just gotta hurry up with this video. Okay, put it. I put some on my little cotton pad, and now I'm gonna put it on. Let's see what happens. It has a kind of a strong scent. Um, it's not the worst thing. Almost a little bit of nail polish remover scent. Let's see if it has alcohol in it. It does have alcohol in it, which I don't know if that's good to use on your face. So, so far the toner feels refreshing on my face. Um, Just trying a little bit on my eyelids. Okay, all right. Um, it feels fine. I'm not a big fan of the scent, but it's not a bad scent. It's a little bit of a nail polish remover scent, I'm gonna be honest. But it says toner with hazel, so maybe the hazel is the scent that I'm uh, smelling, but it's not my favorite scent. But so far the toner, I mean, it's worked fine. It didn't my face wasn't stinging or anything so yeah okay so now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go and put on my serum and face primer and then i'll come back to review the foundation so the foundation that i'm going to be trying out today is the huda beauty luminous matte full coverage liquid foundation now i am very skeptical about matte foundations because i don't want my skin to start to crack since the foundation is a matte foundation i used my Too faced hangover primer which is my favorite primer i love the scent of this primer and it's been one of my go-to primer go-to primers for years the other primer that I've been using is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. I have been using that with the foundation I've been using recently um, because I felt that it wasn't, it, I felt that it needed the matte primer for it not to get oily throughout the day because I felt that this primer was not helping with the oil control. But like I said, since the foundation that I'm gonna be trying out today is a matte foundation. This, I think, would be the primer to go with. Um, otherwise, I feel like I would get all cracky, but I probably will try the foundation with the matte primer, um, maybe tomorrow, and I will do a little follow-up um, on a different video about it. But before, but wait, 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 before we put my foundation on 
before we try out this Huda Beauty foundation, I have to go, I have to show you guys what Ethan got me for Valentine's Day. He got me a bunch of things, but this is one of the best things I could have ever asked for. So I told him I wanted a new makeup bag, so he got me this makeup bag. Um, I will ask him, I think this is the name of the brand. It's C-C-I-D-E-A. Not gonna try to pronounce that right now. I'm trying to speed this video up. But anyways, I literally cannot believe how much stuff it fits in here. You could probably fit two to three makeup palettes in here, okay? It's deep. It has three pockets right up front and a zipper pocket two pockets on the side and the inside and two pockets on the outside it is adorable and he also got me a travel jewelry case that was pink i'm obsessed also my favorite thing about this bag is the hook because look i can just go like this while i'm doing my makeup like that i mean it's amazing so i'm super excited um about this bag and i just had to show you guys right quick but let's try out this foundation so i got the shade 120b vanilla um i was able to test out the shades when i was there not directly on my face but on my hand and all the ones darker than this seemed way too dark so hopefully i picked out the perfect match let's see if it has a pump yay it has a pump foundations are the best when they have a pump 100 percent so I got my damp uh, beauty blender. Well, it's actually not a beauty blender. It's a real techniques sponge, but I like these way better than the beauty blender. So I'm going to do, I usually do one pump like on this half of my face, one pump here and one pump here. So we are trying it out. Alrighty. So I might have to, I might have to close this while I blend it in because I need a mirror. Well, actually, okay guys, I'm grabbing my palette that I'm going to be using today um, to blend this in because I want you guys to see my first impression reaction. I was just going to close this right quick to use the mirror, but then y'all wouldn't see my first impression. Okay, so, so far the foundation, I think... Um, it's a little yellowy, but um, I think that is a pretty good match. It's not darker than my skin, so that's good. So how I kind of tell how full coverage a foundation is, is if it can cover up my veins. I can still see my veins a little bit through. I might need to do one more pump of the foundation. But so far, it's blending very easily. I don't think it's drying too quickly. So I've had this camera, Canon T3i, oh my goodness. I've had this camera for 10 years or so, and it still works great. However, the one thing I don't like about it is after like seven or 10 minutes of filming, it really just depends on the day, it will turn my video off. And usually I can tell because it tells me that the, it shows up on the screen that your video was um stopped but what happens if i was blending my foundation i was talking to you guys and then it just stopped then i'd have to re-record everything else that i was saying okay so obviously i look like a ghost right now but i think i might add one little pump more to my face just to get that extra coverage but I definitely think it is a full coverage foundation. It blends very easily. So up until recently, I always put my eyebrows and eyeshadow on before my foundation. But now I put on everything and then I do my eyebrows. I don't know why I started to do that, but I'm liking it. Okay, so I think that it's definitely dry now. Yeah, that that is dried on. So, so far, first impressions, I like it. It's easy to blend. 
and I, I definitely would say it's medium to full coverage. I go off camera and then I will come back when I'm trying my new eyebrow product. Okay, so the foundation shade matched perfectly with my concealer and my powder. Currently the powder I'm using, obviously I bake under my eyes and I use the Fit Me loose powder for that and then the powder I've been using is the L'Oreal True Match. I'm almost out, I'm gonna need to get another one. Um, so far I'm loving how the foundation looks on me. It definitely will not budge, I don't think. Um, I mean obviously we'll see what happens in a couple of hours. But now we're gonna move on to the brow product, which I'm super excited about. I'm super excited about everything, obviously. Um, so it's the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Okay, love the packaging. I got it in the shade three, warm, light brown. So when I was at the store, they didn't have a tester for the shade. They had a tester for the shade lighter shade two and then a tester for shade four i tried on shade four on my eyebrows and it was a little bit dark but i still kind of liked it um and then shade two would have just been way too light so i'm gonna try out shade three for the first time right now okay so it has two ends let's find out which one opens okay so this one's a brow brush that's nice Alrighty, so little twist up. The only thing is, is I mean, it's it's slanted. So I mean, I'm gonna try. Uh, it twists up and down pretty easily. Okay, let's test it out, y'all. First impression, love the color. I think it matches me perfectly. Oh my goodness. So this was $24. Um, I guess I would have to see how long this would last if I could say if it was worth the price or not. I'm just obsessed with the color. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a little. All right, so there's one eyebrow basically done. I like it, I think. I want my eyebrows to look natural, but obviously I still want them to be on fleek and on point. Um, I've been working on just kind of following where my eyebrow hair is um okay so far i am gonna have to roll it up a little bit let me show you guys what the tip looks like okay it's so funny because in high school i thought i perfected my brows and now looking back on pictures i'm like eh, what was i doing but that's what's so amazing about life is you there's always room for improvement and there's always room for growth and if you're not growing you're not learning and you're not becoming a better person all right y'all i think i like the eyebrows it Glide it on very easily. It's definitely a buildable product, so if I wanted my eyebrows to be darker than they are right now, I could definitely play around with it. So now I'm going to put my eyeshadow on, mascara, bronzer, blush, highlight, everything, and then we are gonna test out the Sephora lip products. Lipsticks, the Sephora lipsticks. We're gonna test those out next and last. All right, you guys, I am back and ready to try out these Sephora lipsticks. Now, they might be on sale or clearance because they are going out of stock um, or they're not gonna be making any new ones. But regardless, if they do work out for me, they were only $3.50 each and I will add two new lipsticks to my lipstick collection. So, I decided to get two colors. Um, 
this one is in the color I know they had names on them okay we're just gonna forget it it doesn't have names on them that I, that I can see but I got this brown neutral tone color and then I got this bright ruby red so I'm gonna start off with the brownish neutral I'm gonna start off with the neutral color so let's see what it looks like Ooh, very very pretty pretty okay so I'm not gonna swatch it on my hand I just want to try it on my lips and see what I think so let's dive in so first impression I love the color and it is a very moisturizing lipstick and I think it goes great with this whole makeup look but I am gonna try on the red one to see how pigmented it is but this one is pretty pigmented I like it I'm not mad at it at all okay now I'm gonna try this red ooh very very bright hopefully it's as bright on the lips as it is in the stick <laughs> Okay, so definitely one thing I love about these lipsticks so far is that they are buildable and they're moisturizing, they're pigmented. I think they're a hit, y'all. Kind of midway through my hair right now. I'm going to do my final thoughts now because Ethan will be home any second and I just want to get this done before he gets home. Okay, so final thoughts. Um, on the Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Wash, I would give it a 7 out of 10. I don't think it's worth investing in if you really wanted a strawberry scent. Now, I think it was, it wasn't too expensive and the tube is pretty big. Um, it's 4.2 fluid ounces, but you're not supposed to exfoliate every day. So I think I will definitely get a lot of use out of this. However, I was hoping that it was going to have this amazing strawberry scent and it really didn't. So that's why I couldn't give it a higher score out of 10 but I think if you just want an exfoliating wash um, with cute little strawberries on it but not a strawberry scent then this would be your thing um, I may or may not repurchase this but yeah so that's my final thoughts on this it's on the Huda Beauty foundation I would give this foundation a 9 out of 10. I love the way it looks on my skin. I think the color matches perfectly. As you can see, I don't look as ghostly as I did when I first put on the foundation. Um, obviously, we'll see how it goes in the next six hours or so. I am going to try to film some updates. Please forgive me if I don't, but I am going to try. Um, it's definitely full coverage. It <laughs> When I was trying... The, only, the reason I won't give it a 10 out of 10 is because when I put my concealer on and I tried to blend it, it kind of left like a patch, an open patch where the concealer was. Um, I don't think it ended up working out that I could blend my concealer in, but when this is on and blended, it's not budging. Um, I do think it's a full coverage foundation and as long as it lasts long and doesn't get cracky throughout the rest of the day i would definitely repurchase this foundation so it's a hit yay we found a hit we found a hit okay so the eyebrow product the goof proof brown whoa the goof proof brow pencil i think i'm still a goof but i would give this a 10 out of 10. i love the way it looks i'm gonna have to ask ethan his opinion i would definitely repurchase this product i think it is worth the money just because it's so hard for me to find a brow product a brow it's so hard for me to find a brow product that works as perfectly and basically i mean the shade is matching with my hair even with highlights that I just put in perfectly so I would definitely give this brow product a 10 out of 10 hopefully it lasts a long time I'll have to give you guys an update on when the product runs out I don't do my makeup every single day I used to do it every single day I used to never leave the house without makeup on but I'm really happy that this product worked out because I hate wasting money on a product that isn't a hit so we found another hit y'all
Okay, so now on to the lipsticks. I would give the lipsticks an 8 out of 10. I think that they're not going to be very long lasting um, just because of because of the fact that it's more of a moisturizing lipstick, um, more of a tinted lip balm, I would say. I love the colors that I got. I'm really, really happy with those. Um, I was nervous of buying the product because I didn't know how pigmented they were going to be, but I'm super happy with them. Like I said, I don't know if they're still on the market for purchase, but I do have two awesome lipsticks that I added to my collection. The reason that I didn't rate them a 10 out of 10 is because I don't believe they will be as long lasting just because of the, um, just because it's more of a moisturizing, sheer kind of tinted lip balm kind of vibe. It's not a matte lipstick or a liquid lip. Those stay on for forever. And I know that once I eat something, this lipstick will come off completely. And just because I, um, I've been doing makeup for so long that I kind of know what lipsticks stay on long and which ones don't. So this lipstick, this type of lipstick reminds me of a lip gloss, but it is moisturizing and I do like that. Um, but yeah, so really we didn't find any, oh, oh my God, guys, 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 I forgot to say my final thoughts on the toner. Okay, so the toner, I would say a seven out of 10. It did the job, it didn't give me an allergic reaction or anything, but it did kind of smell like nail polish. Um, and so that's why I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10. I think that if you need a toner and you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, it could, it, it should work for you. But personally, I probably will not be repurchasing it just because I don't like the smell of it. Um, it's not a strong smell, so don't be freaked out, but I feel like it kind of smells like nail polish and it does have alcohol in it, so I really try to use the best products when it comes to purchasing face products um, because it is your face. Um, so, yeah, but I can't believe I almost forgot about that, but I'm glad I remembered before I ended the video. So, I will try to come on here and give updates on the foundation and how it's staying on my skin but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are happy that i'm back on here trying my best to make time to make videos um if y'all have any video requests as always comment below for some reason my comments have been turned off um, which I think it's because I've been saying my videos are kid friendly because they are kid friendly and I guess you can't comment on kid friendly videos. I don't know. But anyways, I will come back on with some updates on the foundation, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Queen out. All right, y'all, I'm on here for an update. So proud of myself that I actually took the time. Um, but honestly... I only have a couple of hours before Ethan and I need to go to bed because we both have to be up early in the morning for work. Um, I'm working all morning shifts Thursday through Thursday and then I have Friday and Saturday and Sunday off every other weekend I have off. Um, but today is Wednesday. I didn't work yesterday and I was on call today but I didn't get called in so I had time to do a YouTube video but now it's seven o'clock so I'm doing a four hour update it honestly still looks amazing uh as you can see the lipstick has come off a little bit and I already predicted that this was gonna happen I could just tell by the type of lipstick that it wasn't gonna stay on so, and I haven't even ate yet. I'm making sesame chicken tonight with white rice and egg rolls because Ethan loves egg rolls and so do I. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I still am obsessed with the foundation. Um, I'm, soon go I'm still going to use these lipsticks. I think they're great lipsticks to have because of the pigmentation and I like the colors and I... I've had my lipsticks for over a year. I don't know how long you're supposed to keep lipsticks, to be honest, but I know that eventually you have to start throwing them away. Um, but I'm happy to have these lipsticks. I like them, is what I'm trying to say. I like the lipsticks. But my foundation looks good. I'm really happy about it. 
I think this is exactly what I wanted and needed and it looks full coverage um but yeah that's my update guys it's been four hours lipstick faded kind of like I thought and foundation looks great so thank you guys for watching again and I will see you guys in my next video queen out